the head coaching job here. White to throw. He has a multitude of weapons on the outside, and this one completed. One of the best big play offenses in the country. The Memphis Tigers, in part because of the guy in the backfield right now, Kenny Gainwell, a redshirt freshman who is absolutely dazzling. And there's Gainwell. Gainwell again up the gut, and if he's going to get that much when he's contacted, they're in re rule. Oh, that was one warning. warning. That's your warning. Screen game is fantastic for Memphis. Gainwell is tremendous in it himself. Brady White is split out right now at the bottom of your screen. They're going to run Wildcat here. Gainwell will take the snap. It's a lead play. And he's going to lead it all the way inside the 10. Right side. Look at that. They don't have an edge player. They have nobody to turn it back in until you get to the safety out there. That is a mistake in alignment. Has to be. Gainwell. Mine. And they're just slowing things down here. Keep in mind, Cincinnati's 10 and 1 for a reason. They've had a lot of close wins, a lot of comeback wins. Luke Fickle said it's hard to beat a bunch of winners, and they are winners. Pressure coming, and they got there. Man, the last couple of weeks, they couldn't get over 100 yards passing. A 62 last week against Temple. Just the 21st play for Memphis compared with how quickly they go. They actually lead their opponents in time of possession this year. And then there goes Gainwell out of the backfield. White down the seam. He's got a completion inside the 30. Poxy. In that first half, just five carries, 46 yards. The freshman sensation is in the backfield as they pull from the left side, and Gainwell's got a bit. Play action is the screen, and Cincinnati is right on it with Gainwell. They run it. So first down Memphis. From inside the 20. Down the middle White with some confidence. Who made a major impression on Mike Norvell all the way back to high school when he visited Arizona State. When the head coach was there running the quarterback room. Canewell breaks a couple of times. He's taking more notes than Berkovici, <laughs> and he's just getting started in high school. Filled up three pages at 67% on the year as Memphis has really spun its wheels on third down. White, little behind him, and that pops out. That's a fumble officially, and the ball ends up on the sideline. So Memphis does get a first down. Did he? They've only had to play 43 total snaps. This is the 44th. And a slant from White has a first down for Cox. Two very good football teams this Thanksgiving Friday. Cincinnati brings some heat, and they'll go shovel pass. Gainwell tripped up. Want to stay away from Gardner 12, but Gardner, the corner, is in the short side of the field, and that's your man-to-man -man matchup. You might have to go that way. No safety that direction. White climbing the pocket. White tucks it and runs. He seeks the first. Former Arizona teammates. State. Yeah, quarterback room together. Gainwell finally breaks one in the second. He feels it to the outside. Watch the lateral movement right there. Just the sidestep to get out. 1,300 yards rushing. Gainwell shimmy. Coordinator Adam Fuller for Memphis, who proved once again to us that football is very deep in folks' hearts and universe. She ran a mean post corner. <laughs> Second down, Gainwell. Nothing. Mississippi State, chance to tie the game, and you get an unsportsmanlike conduct for the rude celebration. Yeah, that was an all timer that you had him briefly. I don't know what's going on. Second and six for Memphis in a three point game. 
Gainwell fearing for a huge Memphis first down. Now he gives it back and gets it back.